This young star may be a badass on screen, but in real life, she's just plain silly. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Amelia Clark moments. Hey, call me the nearest Targaryen when you wanna reach me, and if you feel the love, then you can call me Khaleesi. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at those times when Amelia Clark easily tickled our funny bones. And of course, we'll be laughing with her, not at her. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's alright. I, mean, I could lie, but I don't want to lie. Number 10, her Wired interview. We don't have auto cue in case that's already clear. Auto correct. Auto, yeah. <laughs> Wired is mostly a website for science and technology, but it also has some pop culture videos, like the web's most searched questions segment. Stars interviewed for these videos have included Jodie Foster and Terry Crews. However, with the new Han Solo film, Wired got a three for one. Woody Harrelson sings Queen. Take a long ride on my motorbike, you know I'm ready. Yuna Swadmo jokes about being colored by George Lucas, but Amelia Clark is absolutely adorable as she laughs her way through the interview and jokingly takes offense to the questions asked. She pretends she's actually American and laughs at how small she is by comparison to Eunice. Mostly, she just seems to have a genuinely great time. Remember that time you took a nap <laughs> in my shoes when I was... You remember that time? Yes, I can fit into, I can so fit into two shoes, everyone. Then, Number nine, going incognito with fans. I would think you look so different in real life than from your character. On multiple talk shows and in an Esquire magazine interview, Amelia chatted about how fans don't recognize her when she's out with Kit Harington and other Game of Thrones cast members. Can you take this picture for us? And I'm like, sure, definitely I can, sure I can. She's even been asked to take photos of the fans with those other members. The lack of those platinum braided locks seem to be to blame. The lovely Amelia takes it all in stride though and actually doesn't seem to mind at all. In fact, she makes light of the fact that she generally slips under the radar as the mother of dragons, and even admitted to eavesdropping while girls ask who the heck she is. I'll go into the like, I'll be like, Kit, just be one minute, I'm just gonna go into the loo, and then I'll hear these girls being like, who is that girl that he's with? And I'm like, hey, <laughs> it's me. Number eight, Mbop in Dothraki. Like there's an actual Dothraki language. <laughs> yeah. Is it, or are you just making up words as you go? Well, Dothraki is a language specifically made up for Game of Thrones. Clark's character on the show is one of the only characters who speaks it regularly, so she became pretty fluent in the made up tongue. <laughs> She's so fluent, in fact, she can sing Mbop by Hansen. That's right, the catchy 90s pop song. She proved it too. On Late Night with Seth Meyers, she told the story of how she started to sing the song instead of her real Dothraki lines on a long day of shooting. <laughs> I don't think it was a... Well, of course, Seth had to hear the version of the song. It was decidedly, as Meyers put it, much less catchy. I can't stress how much less catchy that is. <laughs> no, nice. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Number seven, her embarrassing Wookiee impression. There's a lot on Chewie on this movie, and there's a lot of Chewie close-ups, and so in the script, there's Chewie dialogue. A person's Wookiee impression is either worthy of praise, mediocre at best, or just laughably bad. Guess which one describes Amelia Clark's? If you said laughably bad, pick up your prize. And she clearly knows it too. Oh! <laughs> worse than I thought it was in my head. I was like, it's getting to be stand, bad, stand, stand, stand up, maybe. On The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, the solo star was asked to say a couple of Chewie's lines from the film in Wookiee. Even before the impression begins, you can see the fear in her eyes, knowing she's going to make a fool of herself. But sweet Amelia just laughs at herself the whole time, which easily makes us smile too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just sit there. Number six, talking about her Game of Thrones audition. It does seem that Jimmy Fallon has a way of getting Amelia to do and admit to some pretty silly things. In a different interview on The Tonight Show, Fallon brought up her audition for Game of Thrones. Almost instantly, Amelia laughed at the memory and shared the story. It seemed that after her audition was officially done, Amelia asked if there was anything else she could do. Um, I was asking them if I could do anything else. If there's anything else they could, you know, yeah. to make them some tea or something. Well, the creators jokingly told her to do a dance. Ever the one to please, she complied by doing the funky chicken and the robot. What kind of dance did you do there? Um, well, yes, I did. I think I just, I don't, I, I don't know how to do it, but I did the funky chicken. 
That sounds like Amelia. It's just a shame that we couldn't see it. Yeah, no, no really, I can't. It's terrible. No, I don't it's want to make really it do bad. it. Number five, doing a Valley Girl accent. I like, yeah, I like. I, I don't know. It's because I watched like a lot of American TV when I was growing up that I just like love in California. <laughs> <laughs> this gorgeous actress not only knows multiple languages, she also does accents. On the Ellen Show, she played Heads Up, in which she did a few accents for Ellen to guess. She showed off with her French accent and also took a stab at a Mexican accent. Uh, so I just want to, you know, I want to have to uh, stop you for a second. <laughs> and... But her best one by far was her Valley Girl. In fact, as she admitted on Jimmy Kimmel Live, she's even created a whole character around that accent, named Callie from the Valley. And all of this simply because she, like, loves Clueless. Go make Cher Horowitz proud, girl. I, like, love Clueless. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, parodying her signature line. Where are my dragons? Where are my dragons? Has become one of the most famous lines from Game of Thrones. This is something that the creators and cast members of the show must know, because Amelia agreed to have a whole parody video shot spoofing the line. Where are my kale chips? Where's my accent? Where's, where's the toilet? The video follows her throughout a day in her life, with her wondering aloud, where's my, insert random object here. Everything from where is my Uber to where is my butt plug is uttered. As if we didn't have enough proof that this girl has a great sense of humor. Where is my boyfriend? Where's my butt plug? Number three, crushing on Matt LeBlanc. I know, no, I know. I do have one slight request from you though. What's that? Um, so would you, would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? Everyone who lived through the 90s and beyond knows who Matt LeBlanc is. But in case you don't, the actor played the iconic Joey on the massively successful sitcom Friends. Gosh, he had a lot of women giggling and blushing, both on and off screen. And well, you can count Amelia Clark in among that bunch because she sure couldn't stop smiling when she met him on the Graham Norton show back in 2016. I'm actually blushing. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think you're wicked. <laughs> and all the man had to do was sit next to her. So you can bet she was clearly a blushing mess after his catchphrase of, how you doing? Don't worry, Amelia, you're not alone. Speed on the show. Well, yes, we'll say, thank um, you. Yeah, how you doing? <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number two, freeing the pee. Um, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you yes. about time, damn time, right? Well, I think so. You know, I did it. Why can't the boys do it? On several different talk shows, Amelia Clark has spent a portion of her time talking about the unfair balance of nudity on Game of Thrones. She was completely nude for a few scenes on the show, she explained, and asked, why can't the boys do it? We think that's fair enough, don't you? But it was on the Late Late Show with James Corden that the true funny came out. While chatting about the inequality again, in a fit of giggles, Amelia said, wait for it. Free the penis. Free the penis. Yeah. <laughs> you want to free the pee? Free the so we pee. start it now. It's a free hashtag. The free goes. the pee. Very quickly, the audience erupted with applause and laughter, and the hashtag free the pee was born. Uh, you have so many yes, titles. Free the penis. Yeah, you have. <laughs> free, you have the penis. free the penis. Free the penis. <laughs> free the penis. <laughs> that's your big cause. Uh, free the penis. <laughs> yeah. Number one, that eyebrow dance off. Do you want to win? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, she's the best. Then. Yeah. Another visit to the Graham Norton show takes our top spot. Three people with thick eyebrows sat on the host's big red couch. Jake Gyllenhaal, Cara Delevingne, and of course, Amelia. Arnold, and I, we have eyebrows, but you have eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> eyebrows. Right. Naturally, Graham Norton proposed an eyebrow dance-off based on, quote, precision, movement, rhythm, and definition. The girls obliged, Jake less so. But while Cara dished out some good moves, complete with a wiggling nose, Amelia took it to the next level. Her brow furrowed, her eyebrows moved independently, and all to the exact beat of the song. Take that, Kara is right. Oh, 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 oh my God. Take Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.